Hello and welcome to GoGeco.com. In this video, we would be covering Informatica data quality or IDQ filter and sorter transformations. Filter transformation simply removes the unwanted data. For example, you can remove customer ID column from your source data where it's null or blank. While the sorter transformation sorts the source data based on one particular field or more than one particular fields. For example, let's say your source data is coming like this and you wanted to sort that data in ascending order like this. So that's where you would be using the sorter transformation. So I have already opened the Informatica developer tool. In case you don't remember how to open that, let me quickly show you all programs, Informatica version, client, developer client and launch Informatica developer. So you are seeing your project folders right here. By the way, I have used the same example for filter and sorter transformation in my power center video. So if you have seen that video, you will find it much easier to understand this IDQ video. So let's say I will create this mapping in IDQ in this customer project folder. So what are my physical data objects here? My physical data objects are nothing but my file. So let's hit new physical data object. So physical data object can either be source or your target as I have covered that piece in little more detail in my prior videos. In this case, it's a flat file. So browse to the correct folder, which in this case is this file. Hit next. You will say import column names from first line. And this is a comma separated file. Hit next. And you can simply say finish here. Now close that. This should be enough because we can use the same physical data object as our source and target. So again, go to your folder level, hit new and create a mapping. So mapping M export. So let me quickly cover our requirement as well. For that, let's go and open our source file. So this is our source file. Our requirement is to not load that data where customer ID is null or first name is null. Also, we would like to sort the data based on first name. So this is what our requirement document says. And this is what we are trying to solve with this IDQ mapping. So let me close this and get back to the developer tool. So we already got our source in and we have our mapping here. So let's drag our source file here. Yes, we wanted to get this physical data object in this mapping as the read or our source. Hit OK. Now add another transformation. I would add an expression transformation first. I have covered that as part of my power center video that why you would want to have an expression transformation right after your source because it gives you an ability to accommodate any changes which can come later. And usually in real world, you should always expect changes once you have developed your mapping and you should create your mapping in a way that you can easily and quickly accommodate those changes. And expression gives you the ability to do that. Now let's get in our filter transformation here. Again, control A and you can simply drag and drop. So if I go to properties, if I say filter, what I will simply say is not is null of my customer ID and also want not is null of the first name. You can validate it from here. In order to test this, which we cannot do in Power Center, let's test this mapping right at this point, even before finishing up our mapping. So right click and hit run data viewer. So it gave us our data back. And we can see that the customer ID seems to be not null and also first name seems to be not null even though it has not been sorted yet because we haven't applied the sorter yet. So let's apply our sorter now at transformation sorter 
put all the columns in and go to the sorter properties right here so in idq you always go to the properties in this section here you can actually customize this part you can put this whole thing on the side or somewhere else so again hit on your transformation and then you go to the properties in this case you will be going to the ports and you will say first name as ascending you can always change that to ascending or descending depending on which direction you want to sort that data in this case it's ascending usually you use descending for dollar values or anything related to money or sometimes related to the date as well so that you can see the latest data if it's a date or if you can see the most worthy data if it's a value or dollar amount so again use the powerful feature always use that as part of idq mappings because this gives you the ability to check your data to unit test your data right at the transformation level as soon as you created the transformation you can test it out that's the most powerful feature here run data viewer we can see that our first name is indeed sorted so now if you know how to run an idq mapping this video should be finished for now so this completes our transformation part and let's get the target so to get the target i will simply copy paste it right here which copies my source like this i should not say that as source because idq does not distinguish between source and target when it comes to physical data objects it's up to us how we want to use it so i will rename that as t4 target and now i will get that in here and i will use that as right which makes it my target and i will simply connect all these here now i will open up this and i'll go to i will go to this section and on the right side which says right and then go to runtime and define where this file is going to be created which is going to be this and i will change the name here to tgt so now i will simply run my mapping so make sure you change your target properties and give the correct file path where you want to create your target file like this you can also give the header options let's say you want to output the field names hit save you can validate your mapping as well whether there is any issue with your mapping or not before running uh, and then run your mapping right click and run mapping you will see it's running here then you can check the log like what happened at what point of time it gives you a really nice summary of your mapping run now let's go back to the folder and we can see that our target file got created so let's open our target file and you can see there is a header customer id is not null first name is not null and first name has been sorted based on the ascending order so this completes this particular video and in our next idq tutorial we would be covering more transformations related to data quality thanks for watching this video and do check out our website www.gogeco.com bye now